Welcome to episode 992, Henry Crevice, the Pi-El King, or father of private equity. This is picture of Henry Crevice with his second wife. This is an outline of episode 992, now the Pi-El King of the 1980s and 1990s. Henry was ahead of everybody when it came to raising money. He sort of invented the business. Henry Risk is important to take, not foolishly, not uh, blind risk. Um, but <clears throat> I, I love the word entrepreneur. And uh, I ask uh, students sometimes up at Columbia, I'm on that board, and I ask them, uh, how many of you want to be an entrepreneur? A lot of hands go up. And I said, okay, you explain to me. What does that mean? Well, I'd like to go work at, uh, at IBM. And I said, you just failed. That's not, that doesn't count. I said, how about you? Well, I'd like to work at uh, Procter and & Gamble. And I uh, said, you failed to. A real entrepreneur is somebody that has no safety net underneath them. But really, truly has an idea and has a vision and sticks to their convictions. You've got to have the courage of your convictions. And a lot of people are going to tell you you're wrong. If you did everything by consensus, you wouldn't do anything at all. I mean, look at... Uh, I think it was uh, the people that started Kodak. Uh, and so he was born in 1944 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to a wealthy Jewish family. Kravis's road to success took him from prep school in the Northeast to Southern California in 1963. He majored in economics at Claremont McKenna College. In 1969, he earned an MBA from Columbia University. Ikki Al was founded in 1976 by Jerome Colbert, that's the guy in the middle, and two cousins, that is Henry Crafus and George Roberts. All three had previously worked together at Bear Stearns, where they completed some of the earliest leverage buyouts. Travis and his cousin did well. They earned $45 million in fees. Suddenly, with rich fees and rewards, came a split within KKR. Kravis and his mentor, Jerry Kohlberg, were in a battle for the soul of their company. On May 18, 1987, Jerry Kohlberg announced he was leaving KKR. In the press, he hinted at a decline of ethics at his former company, telling the New York Times he would stick with deals where reason still prevails. Jerry's departure was very painful for all three. After Colbert's departure, now Henry Crafus and his cousin and George Roberts ran the company. In 1989, KKR acquired RJR Nabisco for $25 billion for one of the largest leverage buyouts in U.S. history. Nabisco is famous for Oreo cookies and the Salem and Winston cigarettes. Another one of his famous leverage buyout was HCA in 2006 for $21 billion plus assumption of debt. HCA stands for Hospital Corporation of America. Now at age 77, this is Henry Kravis, business advice. Uh, one of of uh, a, a series of events and what can happen. I always say to, to, to people, I said, to be a good investor, you have to be curious. And too many people are in their silo, they're in a box, and this is how they do it. They sit in front of the computer, and I try to tell them, get away from the computer, garbage in, garbage out. Go out and meet people, talk to them, and you don't have to have every single uh, answer you don't, it doesn't matter how many blue trucks, I like to say, uh, a company owns. What's more important is what can you do with the business in the 20% that will really drive the results and drive the outcome. What can you do with that to create more value? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Henry Kravis, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone... Peace and prosperity.